Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shumoy. If this is your first time here, if you're returning, thank you for supporting your girl. I really appreciate it. In this video, I just wanted to focus on the tape down and fluffing of my twist out. I am not a professional at. I wanted to share with you guys just my process of taking down and fluffing my twist out. So overall, I love the way my hair came out. Um, if you're wondering what products I use for the actual twist out, I just use African Pride. I think these are five dollars. This is the Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baboy Oil. I know I just butchered that. <laughs> Coconut oil and Bobob oil is supposed to hydrate and strengthen. This is their leave-in conditioner. So I like to um, make sure my leave-in conditioner is gonna work with whatever curling cream I'm gonna use. So I just stuck with the same brand for this one. And for the curling cream, this is the same African Pride Moisture Miracle, Shea Moisture and Flaxseed Oil, Moisturize and Define Curling Cream. It's supposed to shape, hydrate, and add shine. And I can say, I do see that shine. It's looking good. It did not shrink up. So this was a successful twist out for me. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see the process of taking it down, making it look as voluminous as it does right now, then make sure you stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get into this video, guys. All right, as you guys can see, um, I have my hair put up with some pins and stuff. Um, I was trying to make sure, I'm trying to prevent it from shrinking or just kind of stretching the twist out. So hopefully they don't come out crazy, but. I'm just removing the pins and I just use some regular um, hair pins. Um, these are the really long ones. So I did not um, apply any heat for this twist out. I did not dry. I just let it air dry. I didn't apply any heat. Um, it's been a while since I've actually air dried because I'm always washing like the day before work. So I always like don't have enough time to let it, let it air dry. So this is what it looks like before I untwist it. Um, it's really growing, but I just feel like the it's not showing its true length. Unless it's wet, it's not showing my true length. All right, so as you guys know, and I know I've been through this in a couple of my videos, I always use a oil on my fingertips when taking down any style. This is just a way for you to have the least amount of frizz possible. So use any oil that you have. I like to use a light oil, nothing too heavy, not too greasy. Um, this is the... Myel almond oil, mint almond oil. Hopefully you guys can see because this thing is not focusing. So I like to use just a couple drops. You want to rub it up and you can also do this as well just to add a little bit of oil. Nothing too much. So I'm going to use the same pins to take this out of the way while I untwist. Like I said, usually I am in a rush when taking down my twist. And that is one of the reasons I wanted to do this because I feel like I'm always like in a rush. All right, so starting at the back, that is what it looks like once. As I've mentioned before, my curls in the back, that is where I think I am for C. It's really loose back here. It curls differently, but... So once you take your twist out once, then you want to separate it more. As you grab the root, you'll feel it pulling on its own of where it naturally wants to separate. Hopefully that makes sense. So the, like I said, the back is usually a little bit different in the curls. So it's always looser, it's not as tight, but it doesn't bother me as much. And like I said, as you go to pull it, it just naturally starts to separate so you shouldn't have to like force it to separate so i always have some amount of frizz back here which is doesn't really bother me too much so that's one look at that it's like it's not really curled all the way i probably should start um like putting a rod just at the back to kind of help it um curl a little bit more but like I said it doesn't really per se bother me in any type of way so so that's what we have those are the two in the back I don't know if you guys can see but that is what we have so far that is my length in the back 
right. So we're gonna keep going. Um, I did go to the gym, so I feel like I sweat a little bit, so easily comes apart. I do need a trim, but because of COVID and everything, I haven't gotten a trim in a while. One thing I will say, I am learning to kind of embrace a little bit of frizz. I don't really love it, but I'm trying to embrace a little bit of the frizz. I've come to the conclusion that twist outs are definitely my favorite. I love wash and goes, but I just get way too much shrinkage. Like I know shrinkage is healthy, it's not a bad thing, all that stuff, but I just feel like twist out are becoming like my favorite. So. And as you can see, I did not like do my twists very small. I'm starting to realize that when I do them too small, I don't like the way they look. So I'm trying to do them a lot bigger. Now for the sake of this video, I did do them like medium size, but if I was not filming and just twisting it, then I would have gone e even bigger, but I already had it in my mind that I was gonna film this video. So didn't want it to be too big. Now in this section here is where I have my, I would say 4C um, texture. So it's a lot like shorter here and it's also a lot thicker. So I try to add more product in that area just to make sure that it curls, but I can still see the difference. Now I can't really teach you guys how to perfect your twist out. Um, my only thing I would say is take your time, make sure you're consistent with the way you twist. That way they can all kind of look the same, but it's just practice and doing it all the time. I'm not a pro at it. Um, I just do the basic. I still could get more definition and the definition will be different based on what products you're using as well. So like I said, for this video, I used African Pride. Just trying to use the products I have in my stash because I want to use up some of this stuff before I buy anything new. So I just bought it because it's, it is one of the most, one of the more affordable uh, brand. It's not black owned, but it's still a pretty decent brand. So I figured, I think I've used it once before, but I'm starting over with trying different combinations of products to see and try to remember and document what I like and what which ones I don't like. Cuz I feel like I don't remember like okay, did this product work really good? Did it what did it what were the results of using that product? So for the next couple of weeks and months, I'm going to be documenting my different twist out combinations and wash and goes combinations so I can remember what I like and what I don't like. So at the end of that series, if there's products that just doesn't work for me, I'm probably gonna either donate them, give them away, stuff like that. Cause I don't wanna have anything that doesn't work. I'm gonna make sure that it does work if I'm keeping it. I don't know if you guys can see. So I already separate this once. And if you look at it closely, it's already splitting into three without me doing anything. So I'm just gonna grab that, grab the second one, and leave it like that. Now if I was to try to separate it more, then I'm probably gonna get a lot of frizz. All right, I think that was the last two. I can see all the signs I tried to fill in the cracks that were spreading my mind. But I I think they're all separated. I'm gonna kind of feel through, make sure. Sometimes you miss one or two of them. Just being gentle, feel through, make sure they feel like they're all separated. 
and if you find a big piece that looks like it can be separated again then you can separate it again that one is like a little too further all right so without fluffing without doing anything at all this is just the way it looks when you separate it I think I have pretty good definition right now. When it comes to fluffing and getting body, that is still something I'm trying to work on. I'm not good at it yet. If you're a beginner, welcome, because <laughs> I am not good at it. So this is a tool that I normally use. It's a hair pick. If you're going natural, you might want to always have one. I have two. So normally when I go to fluff, you just want to grab your pick and go like a little bit out from the root. You don't want to comb through, you don't want to disturb anything that's going on with those definition and those curls unless you want to comb out your curls. You just want to go through the roots and raise it up like an itch. So I like to grab and just kind of stretch the curl and then go in with the pick. Now my my hair density is not as thick in body yet, so hopefully it gets thicker as it grows, but right now this is what I'm working with. So So instantly you see it's getting some body just lifting and raising the roots without disturbing any of my curls. I think this product did really well. There's no flaking. My curls maintain its length, so that's good. Now, the next thing, the next thing you can do is use a regular white tooth comb. Still trying to master this, trying to get used to this, but it kind of is the same concept. I like to grab and just, I don't know how to explain it. You're doing the same thing. You don't want to like comb it through, but you just want to kind of, <laughs> I suck at explaining this. Just want to give it a little fluff. See here, this is a big one that hasn't been separated. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of edge control, which I didn't bring in here. So I'm going to go do that, um, tie it down for a little bit, let that lay down. Um, and then I'll check back in with you guys to show you the final look. All right, guys. So this is the final twist out look. Um, as you can see, I did a little design on the side. I just didn't love the shape that I had. So I just went ahead and did a little thing right here. Yeah, that is pretty fluffed. Um, didn't do too much because like I told you guys, I like to keep my definition. Let me know what you guys think. How do you fluff your curls? How do you get it to be bigger and have some body? Um, if you learned something from my video, then let me know in the comments. But this is how I get my twist out. Um, yeah, I think it looks really really good so guys I hope you enjoyed this mini video nothing too long just showing you guys how I take down and fluff my twist out don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and yeah until next time bye guys mm -hmm.